1 Corinthians 9, the next scripture I want to share on this. Paul says, Do you not know that all who run in a race, but one wins the prize, run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who strives for the mastery, there's that word again that James used, is temperate in all things. Now they do it for a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. <clears throat> Therefore I run thus, not with uncertainty, thus I fight, not as one who beats the air, but I beat my body to bring it into subjection to myself, lest when I preach to others, I myself should become disqualified. How many of us know that it can be a fight to stay in the Spirit? We know we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, praise the Lord. But in order for us to obtain this mastery that this is a leadership conference, this is a leadership ministry, street evangelism, street preaching, uh, we are going to have to learn this temperance, Paul says, that self-control ruling over our own spirit. We know we wrestle not against flesh and blood, as, as if, uh, Ephesians 6 tells us, but against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. And, and we also know from 2 Corinthians 10 that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Uh, everything that we do to obtain this mastery, this success as Christians, is originated always in the invisible. It does not, it does not originate in the natural. It plays out in the natural. But these weapons of our warfare are for, I think J.K. quoted the verse when he, when he taught, brother, when you taught, brother, about how to taking the, every thought captive, he says, casting down of arguments. Many of you know a lot of times you can have arguments in your own heart. <laughs> you can have arguments, you know, as you're wrestling through in your own spirit, uh, it, the issues the, of the heart. It says, keep your heart with all diligence for out of it, it perceive the issues of life. That's the proving grounds. That's where we get rulership of our spirit. It says, honor God with your body and your spirit, which are God's. 1 Corinthians 6 shows us the, the connection with those two areas of our life. Who doesn't want to be a master, by the way? Someone who masters something is like a bike rider who can ride no-handed. They can do it in their sleep, as they say. He's a pro, top of his class, the greatest in his field. Scripture says, knowledge is easy to him who understands. The way of the upright is a highway. When we learn to rule over our own spirit, things that at first seem difficult and arduous will become easy to accomplish. There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son. 